Hello, I'm Mercy with DiscountLowVoltage.com and recently I had a customer ask me, hey, how do you go about mounting these box cameras to a pole? And I said, you know, let's, let's figure something out here. Obviously there's a lot of mounts for PTZ cameras and domes, but as you can tell, the back of this mount is flat. And when you try to mount it to a pole, I mean, good luck, it's rounded, it's not really uh, made for that. And uh, finding a mount for this type of camera, a box camera, to a pole is not going to be easy. So I made a trip to the Home Depot and uh, found some stuff that should make it very easy. One of the things I bought was a, uh, looks like we got kind of a, uh, a ring here. You guys know what these types of rings are. You go ahead and tighten them here with a flat head and I'm sure you've installed these changing radiator hoses. And I also bought a, a bag of conduit hangers. This is what they look like. Fairly inexpensive. I think these rings, they have them in different sizes. They're around a little over a buck. I got a bag of five of these for a couple bucks. Uh, pretty cheap. Now let's go uh, find a pole and mount this camera to it. Okay, so I'm going to use this pole as an example. Now what you're going to want to do is get your conduit mount, go ahead and put it in through here, and then put your um, ring around the pole and go ahead and tighten it. There we go. Once it's tightened down, it's on there pretty good. And you got your conduit bracket being held up by the uh, locking ring. And let's go ahead and uh, put the camera mount into it. Okay, now this is the most ty common type of bracket here for these types of cameras. Usually the back end will screw off. What we're going to do is we're going to slide it in there. You can go ahead and put this other piece on it or take it off, leave it off. And then our next step is to tighten the conduit um, ring here with the screw that's included. There we go. Once it's on, it is on there pretty good. Uh, you don't have to have this back piece on, but you can leave it on just for, you know, keeping less parts separated. And your camera, you can go ahead and make your adjustments as far as where you want to point it to. And um, on the back of it, just plug in your BNC, your power, and uh, you're good to go. That's basically it. Something very simple, very easy to do, and inexpensive. Um, other than that, if you need cameras, call us. Number here is 888-797-3697.